I'm just summarizing the things. Take a decision to do MPharm, go to a good college, get a placement, go to company and explore the things. Understand how the system is working. Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, I came up with a topic which is very very important for your career. So if you watch this video, it is definitely going to help you in the long run. Okay. So as I mentioned in the thumbnail, the journey from B farm to a scientist level. So those kind of a thing we are going to discuss in this video. So watch this video completely. If you are new here, you have seen my channel first time, please do subscribe and support me. That will be helping me in the long run and it will motivate me to make new, new, more, more videos. So I know it's been many days I didn't make any videos because of my schedule and all. So I can promise you that I will make more videos in the upcoming days which will help you to succeed in pharma and all. And I am happy that some people are recognizing me uh, when I am going somewhere in some colleges and all and uh, the guidance and all I am providing which are getting benefited and all. It is making me motivated anyway. Thank you so much for the support and all, everything that you have given to me. Thank you so much for that. So what is happening nowadays? Students are going to be firm after their intermediate, right? So whether it is a good college or bad college, I discussed regarding that. There is nothing like bad college and all. There is, we can say relatively good college, relatively bad college. In that aspect, I am just naming it as bad college and all. Relatively, uh, considering the resources, placement, all those stuff, we can uh, consider it like a good college and bad college, okay? So whether it is a good college or bad college, you have done with your BFARM. So there is no point in going back and I did it from here, I did it from there and there is, we cannot change the history now, right? So what we can do further? So as I mentioned in the thumbnail, what is the journey? How, how is the journey? How is the journey from BFARM to a scientist level? So nowadays, I would say that you should not stick to BFARM. You should not confine to BFARM because there is no point in confining to BFARM. I heard that people are saying, I just want to be... Uh, I just to I just want to work in a, a pharmacy shop. I am okay with that. That is okay, but how long? How long you studied this much? You put this much efforts and all. How long you are okay with that? I am not understanding that. So there will be people who are okay, but majority of the people I would say personally I would suggest that don't confine to B farm because in industry no one wants B farm nowadays. That is the situation. Even if you have M farm, there is no point. I will come to that point. So. Whatever the things, try to do M farm as early as possible if you have completed your B farm. This is the first and fundamental thing I have to tell you. Okay. So when it comes to M farm, from where you should do that that course? There are n number of colleges that is like a business nowadays pharmacy college giving m farm seats all those kind of things are a business nowadays but we have to fine tune the things and we have to scrutinize the colleges where we are going to do our m farm what and all benefits we are going to get academically placement wise everything we should know what kind of benefits we will get after doing m farm there are colleges if you are offering lags they will give you degree but there is no point in getting those kind of degrees without any value addition to that right so you should know what and all colleges are good where you should do those kind of things you should have a good idea already i have uploaded videos regarding colleges and all so what i am saying that whatever the things do it from a reputed college consider these parameters academically whether it is good or not practical exposure placement alumni everything matters when it comes to your career everything matters don't simply go to a college and pay some money and some random colleges and get a degree and say i have m farm what is the point in that there is no point in that so then only you can achieve the path you can reach the point where you can say you are a scientist or you are a part of the value addition to this society otherwise there is no point in doing m farm and you are going back to the pharmacy store and doing doing that dispensing thing i am not saying that it is a it is something i am not belittling the dispensing job but you know you, you there are scope which you can improve and you can be a part of this value addition in a in a higher level then why you are not doing that that is my question so whatever the college you are choosing Niper or Jamia Hamdard or ICT Mumbai Bits Pilani you can you can search on YouTube what are the top 10 colleges so there are such there are different criteria for this like 
academically some colleges are better some colleges are better uh, via placement so you just crack gpat niper and go to a better college this is the first and this is the first and primary thing i told you decide take a decision to do m1 then crack these exams and go to the don't just confine to this uh, pharmacy kind of things and all pharmacy stores and all this is the basic thing you have to understand first you have to decide you have to do m farm after that crack this exam there are lot of contents available on youtube watch those crack those exams go to these colleges experience explore the pharmacy how things are working what and all you have done on b farm how things are working in a practical aspects and all you should understand that you will understand when you go there and try to get a good college then try to get a good company through placements crack placements then you will be a part of a new molecule discovery or a you know there are lot of things you should know about uh, this value addition there are lot of things which are you know not explained people are not aware most of the people are not aware so these kind of things are there once you reach into those colleges uh, while you interacting with those alumni when you reach into a company you will get to know there are lot of miscellaneous activities which are happening and there are lot of things happening behind a molecule which is coming to the market and also there are lot of things to do to the value addition or to serve the society so what i am saying is take a decision don't confine to be firm or just do something whatever is comfort in you get out of the comfort zone do something do something which is valuable you know then only it will make something meaningful you know just summarizing the things take a decision to do m farm go to a good college get a placement go to company and explore the things understand how the system is working then you can be a part of the value addition this side this kind of things that and all are depending upon the profession or the branches you are choosing like if you are choosing chemistry or analysis or pharmaceutic you can be a uh, chemistry uh, api you can synthesize apis you can be a formulation scientist you can be a part of regulatory so there are lot of things to be explored you know there are lot of things which are untold you know so these kind of things are there you should take care of this kind of things you should explore this kind of things don't confine to be farm or a pharmacy store this is my request to all my subscribers so i will be coming with more videos related to this topic this is just an introduction so how to how to think in a positive way or in a higher level to reach into the goals and to be a part of this value addition to this society so keep supporting me uh, if you like this video uh, like share and subscribe my channel again Uh, if you haven't subscribed so that's that's it we will see in another video thanks for watching bye